remark at the car here, look, and uh, Law Phil Abrija. I'm wearing my pin today. Um, it's fitting that today um, one of the strongest women in Irish uh, representation, and Antoinette Cunningham of the Association of Garda Sergeants and Inspectors is retiring. Antoinette leaves behind her some fantastic achievements, including access to the Workplace Relations Committee and the uh, Labour Court for members of Garda Siakana. Um, she will be a tough act to follow, and any of us who have watched interviews over the years with uh, Antoinette, she was a tough woman in her job. So I wish her all the best for her future. Uh, whatever challenge she takes on, I doubt she's going to sit at home uh, uh, and do nothing. So she was a tremendous representative and it's important that we recognise some of the great women that led uh, Irish trade unionism, which sort of belies the notion that the constitution requires all women to stay at home, uh, as stated by the minister. I, I just couldn't let that go. But speaking of the Garda Siakana, uh, the FEMPI Act that came in here um, and what happened over in the Department of Public Expenditure and Reform and the lunatic de decisions that were made forced members of the Garda Siakana and the Defence Forces, when they retire, to sign on for job seekers for the second half of their pension. The pensions are now coordinated with social welfare contributory old age pension. And they have to go and lie and say they are available for work when they are not. Members of Garda Shikana spent 40 years of their lives upholding the law, but they cannot access the supplementary part of their pension unless they lie. Moreover, members of the Garda Shikana have to go into the Dole office, into the post office to sign on for job seekers and frequently find themselves standing with people they arrested maybe a week ago maybe two weeks ago. It, it is just wrong in every sense of the word. And I wonder, could we have a, a debate on that in this house with Deeper? Thank you. Thank you. And could I join with you in wishing Antoinette Cunningham every success in the next chapter of her life? She was a very strong advocate for members of Angarda Shikana and those of us who met her and engaged with her, always found her to be a person of conviction, but a person of huge courtesy. And uh, I want to just wish her well as a candidate, Shannon.